It's just a few minutes lost in hundreds of hours of video recorded by the crew of a medevac helicopter in Afghanistan. A brief sequence which shows something we've never seen before. An American soldier, Army Captain Will Swenson, in the midst of a battle for which he received the Medal of Honor. I think the first question everybody's going to have looking at that video is, why weren't you wearing a helmet? Well, if you had seen the rest of my Afghans, they also do not wear helmets. If you're the one guy hanging out with a bunch of Afghans who looks different, that's who the sniper's going to pick. So it was actually safer not to wear a helmet? It's camouflage. Swenson was an advisor to the Afghan Border Patrol when his unit was ambushed. He called back to base for artillery fire. That was supposed to be laid down between us and the enemy so that we could get up and move off the battlefield without being clear targets. Swenson's request was denied by officers in the rear who worried about causing civilian casualties. Captain Swenson probably made nine or ten different calls for fire uh, before he probably gave up in, in frustration. Now retired, sure. Colonel Richard Hooker, who investigated the battle, which claimed five American lives, sure spoke to 60 Minutes. Talking. Did you feel betrayed? You'd have to ask him, uh, but it's probably not far off the mark. If I call for artillery support, I do so understanding the possibility of civilian casualties. But that's my decision. That's my responsibility. That's my call by doctrine, not somebody who's sitting several kilometers away. The lack of artillery support left Swenson and his men surrounded by enemy on three sides. Swenson's sergeant and close friend, Kenneth Westbrook, was shot in the neck. He called out to me and said, Will, I've been hit. Was pinned down at the time, and I said, all right, hang in there. He yells out again, Will, I'm losing it. I'm losing blood. I can't keep doing this. A medevac helicopter landed. Swenson and a crewman helped Westbrook get aboard. Just before they took off, Swenson leaned in and gave Westbrook a kiss. Did you ever see him again? I never saw him again. One month later, he uh, passed away at Walter Reed. Swenson went back into battle in search of four other Americans who had been cut off from the rest of the unit. Chief Warrant Officer Jason Penrod and Sergeant Kevin Durst were the two medevac crewmen wearing those helmet cams. Over their radio, they could hear the four Americans calling for help. They're asking, begging for help from, from us, artillery, from the attack helicopters. This has been more than four years, and it's, it's with you like this. <clears throat> it, doesn't, it doesn't go away. By the time Swenson got to them, it was too late. It's clear when we came upon them that they had been wounded. They had been in a terrible fight. And that they were treating their casualties, and eventually they just had been overrun. Were you bitter? Was I bitter? I was angry. What you said was, I'm gonna, I have to clean it up a little. When I'm being second-guessed by a higher command or somebody that's sitting in an air-conditioned operations center, why the hell am I even out there in the first place? If I have to get somebody's attention, that's how I do it. Swenson believed the judgment of the officers who denied his call for fire support had been clouded by pressure from headquarters in Kabul, at the time headed by General Stanley McChrystal, to restrict the use of artillery in an effort to reduce civilian casualties. From my foxhole, from my small perspective, from a small province in Afghanistan, I determined that those restrictions were onerous and limited the capability of the warfighter on the ground. He was sure the angry words directed at his superiors had ruined his career. I determined that the best course of action would be to separate. Get out of the Army? Yes. Sounds fair to say you left the Army disillusioned. Confused. You could see in Swenson's face that receiving the Medal of Honor did not erase the pain or the loss from the battle. But it did set one thing right. Army Captain Will Swenson has asked to rejoin the Army and return to active duty.